What's up, Mopar fam? I hope everybody out there is having a blessed day. Today, we're doing another product review, and I'm also going to go over something that I use absolutely every time I put a new tune in Frostbite. And like I said, when I go to put in a tune in Frostbite, I always have one of these portable jump boxes hooked to my battery before I load any custom tuning or any new tunes into the truck as I don't want my battery to die in the middle of it. Um, batteries can literally go bad at any moment. You just never know. Um, and it's better to be safe than sorry. So I, I highly recommend, I'm not saying you have to go out and buy this exact unit, but I highly recommend you put a charger on your truck or, or your vehicle, or you have a portable jump box like this to plug onto your battery before you start to tune or load any custom tuning or anything like that. That way you know you have a very good solid battery that's not going to die in the middle of the tune being written and it's not going to you're not going to damage your computer or any of that mess. Um, so again, highly recommend this. This is something I've been doing for for a long time since I've been putting custom tunes into my vehicles. If I'm going to be loading a new tune from my HP Tuner's laptop, um, or even if I was still using Diablo Sport, no matter what, if I was ever loading a new tune in my truck, always hook it up to extra battery power. That way we don't have an incident where in the middle of the tune being written or loaded into the truck, the battery does not go dead or go too low in the middle of that and cause it to crash, which will cause your PCM to be what they call bricked or junk. Um, if you ever have a battery go dead in the middle of writing a new tune or loading up a tune or anything like that, it is going to usually ruin your PCM. You're going to have to end up getting a new computer. Um, so it's always highly recommended to hook the vehicle up to a charger or jump box or something like that just to make sure you have plenty of voltage and you're not going to have an incident where just in case the battery goes too low. It causes everything to shut down in the middle of it being loaded. You do not want that to happen. But for 100% chance of not having a problem, I recommend hooking it up to extra battery power. Whether that's a charger, a jump box, or something. I highly recommend that. As you can never have enough safety factor doing so. And for the little bit extra time it takes to hook that up or the money to purchase a charger or a jump box, is definitely well worth it. That way you know you're not gonna damage your computer and or your vehicle so that you'll be able to drive it to work the next day, morning, or whatever. If you brick the computer or run the PCM in the middle of writing a tune because everything shuts down and goes dead on you, you're gonna have a dead vehicle. Not gonna be able to do nothing with it. It's not gonna drive, it's not gonna work. And again, that's why I say better to be safe than sorry. So hook up some external battery power. That way you know you're good. Um, even when I'm at the racetrack with frostbite and I'm running the truck, I always hook it up to a portable jump box. Um, that way I know I'm not going to have an issue. So that's why this video is going to be absolutely perfect to review this product. This is a portable jump box from Fantic. And this is a absolutely awesome piece of equipment. Very, very well packaged. And I am super impressed with the quality and how this thing has its own case and is packaged in there. I've actually owned a few different types of these portable jump boxes. And this one definitely stands out with the way that it's packaged 
and the way everything goes in this box and fits, this is absolutely awesome. So we're gonna go over this thing real quick. But before we go over it, I just wanna go over a few key highlights with it real quick. One, once this unit's fully charged, it will last 24 months being stored in its case. So you could carry it around in your car, truck, your vehicle, your race truck, your race car, whatever. On a full charge, it'll be good for a year. And if you ever need to jump a vehicle with it, you should be good to go. Um, not only that, like, like I use it for 99% of the time, what I'm using mine for is when I'm writing new tunes um, or loading a new tune into Frostbite as I don't want that battery to go dead in the middle of it writing the tune. That is definitely a no-no. So that is one cool thing with it. One charge basically lasts all year. The other cool thing is this one is a really good size unit that puts out some very good numbers. So this will let you start, this will start vehicles up to 8.5 liter gasoline engine. So pretty much anything that's gasoline based engine up to 8.5 liters, it will start them. So it'll pretty much start absolutely any gasoline car or truck out there, ATV, four wheelers, UTVs, whatever you can think of, anything gasoline, it's gonna be able to start it. Now, as far as diesels go, um, they claim this will start up to a 6.0 liter diesel. So that pretty much fits majority of the diesels out there, um, like your 5.9 Cummins, your 6.0 Fords, uh, stuff like that. Now, what we're in today, this is actually my Ram 2500, which is a 6.7 Cummins. Um, and then you got the Duramax out there that's 6.6 .6 liters. Um, not saying that it wouldn't work, but I, you know, if you had a weak battery, I'm sure that it's going to do the job and at least get it started for you. Um, now, if all, if both batteries are completely bad, you know, when you start trying to crank something over the, that six liter mark, um, it may or may not be able to do it. Um, but if you just have a, you know, one battery going down, um, or it's just a little too weak, I'm sure this thing would definitely get it started for you as it's better than nothing, that's for sure. It also has some lights. Um, it's got charging features on it. It's got USB outlets as well. There's safety flashers in it built in also. But yes, it's a really nice piece. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna see how everything is packaged into uh, the nice little carrying case they give you for it and kind of go over everything it does. All right, so this is the carrying case. Not very big as there's, you know, that's my hand right here. So it doesn't take up a lot of room. I actually store it under my back seat on my Ram truck. It's got double zippers. So we're gonna open up the case. And inside the case, you have a little card here that kind of goes over a little bit of everything on it. You have the user's manual, nice little flip book here. And then you have the actual unit. And then under these, this little netting pouch, you have a couple of cords. Um, these are USB cords here. And just kind of want to get one out, just kind of show you the quality of this packaging. They got their own little button cord holders there, which is really neat. And that's on both cords. Definitely really neat. I mean, they kind of went above and beyond on the neatness of this thing. Everything's labeled. Definitely, definitely really nice. Like I said, the case for this thing is super, super awesome. Um, so the, the unit actually sits down here in this nice protective case. And then right here you have a little Velcro patch. And then this flips up. And then this exposes the actual jumper cables that is very ni nicely and neatly packaged into the carrying case. Um, so you have, and they just plug right into the unit. And then right here you also have another box. This has the 12 volt socket plug, which also has USBs on the back. And then I do believe And then inside this little box, you have a 110 outlet adapter, 
that has USBs on it. That way you can plug this thing into 110 receptacle and be able to charge it, or you can plug it into your 12 volt socket in your vehicle and charge it. So that's very nice. They give you two ways to charge this thing. If you press the button, hold it down two seconds, the unit comes up and we're at 96% battery it says right now. The other thing this unit has is on the side here you have a little light bulb. If you press that button you have a constant flashlight. It's kind of bright outside right now so this isn't going to show us a whole lot but you get the idea you have at least a flashlight on hand as well. If you hit it again basically does a little safety flashing there. So if you were stranded on the side of the road or something, you could always put this on top of your car and it would flash. If we hit the button again, you have red flashers, which would be even better for that same issue. If you press it again, the, everything turns off. So that's a great little feature as well. The jumper cables plug in right here, which it's labeled jumper cable. So we would plug the jumper cables right into the end of this thing. And then on the other side of the unit, this is where you will have your USB cords and they're labeled 5 volt, 9 volt USB. And then you have an in and out 65 watt type C and they plug in right there. So that's very nifty. Um, you can, you know, if you wanted to charge your cell phones, uh, or anything like that, you could do it with this unit as well. But uh, again, very nice unit. And like I said, when I go to put in a tune in Frostbite, I always have one of these portable jump boxes hooked to my battery before I load any custom tuning or any new tunes into the truck, as I don't want my battery to die in the middle of it. Um, batteries can literally go bad at any moment you just never know um, and it's better to be safe than sorry so I, I highly recommend I'm not saying you have to go out and buy this exact unit but I highly recommend you put a charger on your truck or, or your vehicle or you have a portable jump box like this to plug onto your battery before you start to tune or load any custom tuning or anything like that that way you know you have a very good solid battery that's not going to die in the middle of the tune being written and it's not going to you're not going to damage your computer or any of that mess um, so again highly recommend this this is something i've been doing for for a long time since i've been putting custom tunes into my vehicles um, and i've never really mentioned this i think it's time to mention it and this product right here is a great time to actually mention it as well so that's one reason we're kind of going over everything so there you go guys hopefully that gives you a little bit of pointers on the tuning and custom tuning and some safety precautions to consider before you do it uh, if you're interested in getting one of these portable jump boxes from fantic the link to this exact one on amazon will be in the video description below. So if you scroll down, it'll, you can click on the link. It'll take you right to their Amazon store to purchase this actual jump box. Um, now, this jump box is actually very affordable. A lot of these things off of some of the tool trucks can go up over 200 bucks. This one, I believe, is around the $130 range. Um, very affordable, well worth the money for sure. Um, just to have it as a backup, if you ever needed to jump your car, this will do it. If you're doing a lot of custom tunes, um, you're loading new tunes constantly like me, highly, highly recommend to have a portable jump box to at least plug onto the battery. That way you know you're good during the new tune being written. Um, again, better, than, better safe than sorry. So other than that, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video today. As always, stay safe out there, and we'll see you on the next one.